Honestly, guys, I'm surprised that I lasted 24 hours without opening these products. Been getting emails on sales, and I'm a sucker. It sucks me in, you know? So, bitch, gooey caramel. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you can see by the title of this video, I am going to be doing an unboxing of some orders that I've placed and received over the past, like, well, I received them over the past day or two, and I've ordered them for the past, like, week. Because Black Friday sales were not on Black Friday. Well, they were on Black Friday, but they were, like, for, like, at least a week before Black Friday, too, I think. So, I mean, yeah. First, I just wanted to start out, I finally received my camera cord. I am so excited. I've already taken it out, hooked it up. It works. I was able to move my Decorate With Me Christmas videos to my computer, so I'm super excited. One thing I want to say is this cord came in this little bag that came in this huge envelope from Amazon. I'm just like, is it necessary, you know? Let's start with Bath and Body Works. Okay, whoo, I'm excited. I love it when my house smells nice. Honestly, this box smells nice, so we're off to a good start, y'all. 20% off. Look at this bad lad. So Bath and Body Works was running a sale on their wallflower refills. They were these packs of two for $5.75. And wallflower refills, I think are like $6.50 each when they're not on sale. So to get two of them for less than one cost, I like stocked up. I think I got, let me see, one, two, three, four. I got 22 wallflower refills, and then I just got two um, more plugs because I didn't have a plug-in for my office or the dog room. So I got two more plugs, and I just get, like, the cheap little plastic, not the fancy ones because you can have these up all year round. And I'm going to go through the scents, so just bear with me because I'm, I'm freaking geeked up. So um, I got a 1,000 Wishes. I have this body spray and it smells really good. So I was just like, oh, this would be like nice for a house scent. So I've got a thousand wishes. Uh, should I, I wonder if it says what the scent is. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Champagne, peonies, and almond, almond cream. It smells really good. And then I got a cinnamon caramel swirl. That smells like, bitch, gooey caramel ground cinnamon and creamy vanilla, um, farm stand apple, apple's like one of my favorite scents, especially like fall, winter, I just, mm, I love the smell of apple, so it's just Macintosh apple, pear and oak, let's see, let's see. a beautiful day, I think I've also had this one in a body spray, if not, I spray on myself every single time I'm in Bath and Body Works because I love the smell of this one. Um, it smells like sun-kissed apple. There's a theme. Uh, wild daisies and pink peonies. Peonies? I hope I'm saying that right because I don't really know. Crisp morning air. Y'all, this scent is so freaking good. I have it as a foaming hand soap. Mmm, I love it. It's so good. It's crisp fall breeze, whatever that means, white oak and golden amber wood. So what we're getting from this is that I like um, woodsy type smells, apples, florals. Um, I threw this cinnamon caramel swirl in here because, uh, you know, it's about to be Christmas. So like, I'm not super big on sweet stuff, but sometimes, you know, so yeah, uh, I got leaves, which I think is like one of their most popular fall scents. Uh, it's crisp red apple, bitch with the apple, I swear to God. 
crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Uh, winter candy apple. Oh. <laughs> uh, candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. This is just making me realize like I do have a specific scent that I lean towards. Surprisingly, um, I didn't get what my favorite scent is from Bath and Body Works, which is mahogany teakwood. And ooh, it's so good, but I already had some. So I'm just like, mm, I didn't need to get those. And then I have like candles that smell like it. So yeah, I didn't get one of those, but I love mahogany teakwood. If you like more of a manly, yeah, you just like the manly smell, you know? Like I don't, like a good manly smell, not like sweat, but good manly smell. Uh, so I got Sweater Weather, which is a fresh, sa fresh sage, juniper berry, and eucalyptus. Mm, yeah, I know I'm going to like that one. Evergreen, because I'm going to plug this in right next to my fake Christmas tree, and you ain't even going to know it's fake. So white fur needles, fresh cedar wood, and sweet sap. Well, then last two, apple crumble, baked Macintosh, apples, Granny Smith, apple, and vanilla crumble. So like I said, I'm not huge on the sweet swell smells, but I, mm, it had apple. So yeah, it probably smells so good. And then last one that I got is the hot cocoa and cream which is decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. So yeah, those are all the scents. My house about to be smelling so good. I'm so excited. So let me do this. Let's do, let's do this one. I know what this is and this this box isn't necessary for this. And I'm not like trying to be like, oh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being for the environment. But I'm just saying like, yeah, it's not needed. But it's cute. You can already see the branding on it. So I got sucked in. I ordered the, what is this called? The Artist and the Muse. I ordered the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the lip liner. It came as a trio. Everybody was getting their PR packages and it looked so good. And right now I am trying to find makeup that I can wear on my wedding day. So when I was seeing that everybody was like raving over this like nude lipstick combo, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it because it does look pretty freaking bomb. So the lipstick, let me just open this up. Lipstick is called He's a Mixer and it just comes in this cute little uh, frosted, frosted, frosted. Yep. So it's, it's just like a really nice nude color. Ooh, that's nice. It's like peachy, which I like peachy nudes. I, I, I can't do like a gray undertone. I look dead. So I'm really excited about that. And then the lip gloss is Proud of You. Mm, no, real, no real scent. Ooh, yeah, yes. Ooh, that looks good. So it's like, it's definitely opaque. Like you could wear that lip gloss by itself and it would give like a tint to your lips for sure. Which if like day to day, if I'm not wearing, if I'm wearing anything more than chapstick, I'm wearing lip gloss. I'm not wearing like a lipstick usually. So that's a really exciting. I like that a lot. And then I'm just gonna put the lip liner. Oh, that's bad. Bad swatch, I mean, right next to it. So I don't know if you can see because I'm so far away. Let me come closer. So there's the colors. I don't know if it's getting washed out because of the ring light. But so the lip liner is just like a little bit. Well, it's quite a bit darker than the lip 
lipstick and the lip gloss, but when you like blend it all together, it just looks really nice. Okay, next one, let's do it. It's bad that I don't remember what this is because all that says is that it's um, from an Amazon fulfillment center, so. Oh shit, okay, I can't open this yet. Did you see it? I hope you didn't see it. Okay, I can't open this one yet because it goes with another thing. So, I can't do it. These two are together. Can you, you can't see it. I don't think you can see my address. Um, There's a story on why these two are separate. Uh, it's my bad. It's not the company's bad. It's my bad. This is also makeup. Are you surprised? No. So, this is Jaclyn Cosmetics' newest launch, her holiday collection, which was highlights. And I'm going to be honest, I ordered her lipstick. And if you don't know about all the drama, just Google Jaclyn Hill lipstick. And there's probably like five days worth, I just spit, five days worth of um, reading to do about it because there, it was a big controversy. Her first launch of her brand, it wasn't good. But my lipstick, I only ordered one and I ordered, um, I ordered Perfectionist because I am indeed a perfectionist and the shade is like literally the same color as my lips which if I'm gonna wear lipstick I like that because then if it comes off you don't have to like worry about it coming off and then you're like oh shit can like people tell that my lipstick just wore off so I I love it um nothing's wrong with mine I still use it I don't really know if I'm supposed to yeah but I still got the full refund because she did issue refunds to all of her customers which looks like um not all, I don't know the story about that. I just see people's comments that are like, oh, why are you releasing highlighters when you haven't refunded me for the lipstick? So anyways, moving on. I ordered her holiday collection of uh, highlighters. And I ordered two because when I was on her website, or it came in two packages, because when I was on her website, the I wanted to get the, let me, you know what, let me just get it all out, okay? Quit freaking babbling. A babbler. Okay, so when I was on her website to order everything, I knew I wanted all three different types of highlighters. And they, they were selling them with, so there's three different types of highlighters and three brushes. Each brush went to the type of highlighter that it was. And so I knew that I wanted to have the highlighter and the brush. So they were doing like a bundle. Like if you buy a highlighter, you can get a brush. And it was like a specific price. I think it was like $10 off if you did that. So that's what I did. And I only was able to find at launch time, um, the mood light and the loose highlighter, which I did really want the two, but I really wanted the flash palette. And I could not find the flash palette with the brush. And by the time I, was like getting around the flash palette as just a single sold out. Cause I was like, you know what? I'll just get the palette and I'll use my own brush. Like it's not a big deal, but it sold out. So I was like, ah, oh, shit. So I just got the mood light highlighter and the loose highlighter and checked out. Well, then I looked at her Instagram and it said that the palette was sold out, but that you could still buy the palette and the brush. And I was like, bitch, where, you know, like, I can't see it. So I went back on her website and I was like doing some digging and I found it. So I ordered it. So that's why it came in two separate boxes. That was a long story, but let's, yeah, let's just open it up. Okay. Okay. Should I do this or should I just do, I really want to do a video on all this. So maybe let me just do a quick rundown of what I got for this video and then I'll do like a review and first impression. The loose highlighter and the brush. The luminous powder 
and the brush. So I'm gonna do a separate video for all these in case you're wondering, cause like some people might not be interested in this, you know? They might not be interested. I'm setting this up like, look at me, look at what, look at all my new stuff I got. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do a review on these. Like I said, I was, um, I'm buying makeup right now to like, I feel like this mood light, especially this luminous powder would be so pretty on a wedding day. So, I mean like just from the looks of it online. So that's why I got all this stuff. Wedding day makeup. Yes. Um, I'm gonna pull this box back down because like I said, it's a two-parter. Can you tell what it is yet? It is massive. Ow. It's an espresso machine. So, I have been wanting this for a while. Um, I saw Paige Riley's video, she got it, and then Rachel Ratke got it, and they've been making like um, espresso like over ice. Like, okay, so I like iced coffee. I don't really drink hot coffee ever. So when I get coffee, I just buy like the big jug or like big thing of Starbucks iced coffee from the store. And then I just put it over ice with like cream and uh, stevia. So I never really could make like regular coffee from a machine because it, it's always like super watered down. Like you can't just like, well actually I think Keurig's you can do like an iced coffee pod, but it's just not the same. Like I love espresso ever since I went to Italy um, like one day we had a really long day and I was so geeked up on espresso. I think I had like five shots of espresso that day. And honestly, it's so good. I like strong coffee. I like, um, like I'm not the type of person, I add cream and I add stevia, but I want to still taste the coffee. Like I still want it to be co like a coffee flavor. So, um, yeah, I'm just super geeked about this. I got the machine. So this is the Virtuo, which, um, I've only ever seen good things about. Oh, of course, oh, okay. This side, I guess, um, you can kind of see it, but it has like this on each side and one side you fill up with water and one side, when you open this up, the pod um, flings out and goes into this, which is really cool because you don't have to like worry about taking it out and throwing it away every day. Um, but with this machine, you can actually, oh, I don't want to start my address. Oh, yeah. Um, you can actually make espresso or coffee. So they have coffee pods that you can do like regular coffee like josh could make a cup of coffee if you wanted um and if i want to make coffee i can make coffee too and it comes at different strengths so let me see i ordered the i ordered this machine with a coffee bundle i know you can order the machine with a milk froth or two but like i'm not really into that like i don't make i don't get lattes i don't get anything like that I just when I get coffee I literally get an iced coffee with um like half and half in stevia if I go to a coffee place or something like Starbucks so yeah I, I would have rather just gotten the machine and coffee instead of the machine and the frother so it came with their three best-selling Nespresso pods it said right there can you see it Um, so it comes with, I'm not going to try to say these. Yeah, I'm not going to try to say these because I'm going to butcher it and I'm going to look like an idiot. I wish it told you how, oh, yes it does. Okay, so this one, I'm going to try to say it. Melozio, Mel... oh, frick, I sound like an idiot. Melozio uh, has a strength of six out of 11 and i don't know i wonder if it says if it's um if it's an espresso or if it's it says 230 mils so that's how much it makes per pot i'm assuming well i think all these say that yeah they all say that so i don't really know 
Okay, so that one's a six. This Odacio, Odacio, it's the blue one. So the Molosio is like a light pink salmon. The Odacio is blue. It has a strength of seven out of 11. And then Stormio uh, has a, it's a green color and it has a strength of eight out of 11. I think I'm gonna like the stronger, the stronger ones more. But I'm excited to try all these and then it does have like right here you can see like all of the different different pods and stuff. And it has like yeah, so the espresso comes in like a shorter pod and the coffee ones come in like a bigger pod. There's like double espresso. Yeah. So I'm I'm just excited to kind of try these out. I might go online I think you just order all of the pods online so I might see if there's like um if there's like a set on Amazon that has more than just these three flavors that I can try guys quick update about the Nespresso I opened the box and it came with this which has all of these different flavors so I'm super psyched now I have like these three that came with it too that I purchased and then this which i can try out like more flavors like i was saying so yeah just wanted to um pop this in there so that way you know that does come with that which these two i'm super geeked because oh those two looked really good on rachel's um youtube these two oh i'm so excited okay bye yeah i'm just excited okay last package to open this doesn't really give it away. Like, you don't know what to expect. Is this a box full of clothes? Is it a box full of shoes? You don't know. It's Kohl's. I'm going to have to stand up to open this one. This is also another adult purchase. And thanks, babes, because my babes bought it for me. I, if you watched my day in the life, you saw that I vacuumed and I talked about how I vacuum like every other day. Do you see where I'm going with this? So for Black Friday, my babe has bought me a shark robot vacuum. Oh, I'm so excited. So I have been wanting a robot vacuum for so long. If you don't know, I have four dogs and three cats and our our floors are hard like we have one rug under the dining room table and that's it everything else is hard floor i have to vacuum every other day because it just gets hairy like i have four dogs and three cats so yeah i vacuum every other day otherwise it drives me nuts and i'm just excited to be able to come downstairs from work turn this bad boy on, make my dinner, and it will vacuum for me while I'm making dinner. It's insane. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna open it up because once I open it up, I feel like I'm just gonna wanna set it up and like run it. And so, yeah, I'm not gonna set it up, but just know that there's a shark robot vacuum in here. And I'm geeked. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're enjoying all of my videos so far. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. I'm a very expressive person. So, yeah. But, yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe before you click off. And, yeah. I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.